Daily College and Arturo Velasquez, I took classes in both campuses. I learned a lot about the application of mathematical generalizations to the fabrication of metallic products or manufacturers. Specifically using tools. There were plenty of tools and measurement devices, particularly measurement devices provided. There were excellent teachers with real world experience that helped me understand what they were trying to do in the whole process of carrying out this task. But it's much easier manufacturing get around. Just because there's an objective standard. If I can machine good parts quickly without screwing up a lot, they're gonna want me. Doesn't matter. I can go to career fair or a website, sign up, go there, interview, show you what you can show them what you can do, and boom, you're done. I went to a couple career fairs and quick, very quick, very easy, it's in demand. I love it. It offered it, it was a good job. It offered it. I'm very comfortable right now. I'm, I'm making good money. I mean, you're always you're gonna have a job. So long as you're smart about things, I mean, there's working hard and there's working smart. You gotta work smart. You have to always be learning new skills to differentiate yourself. Our function as a company is to add value to fasteners or parts. Bolts, screws, springs, clips, a lot of random stuff. The point is, I am instrumental in the process of doing so. The operators, they probably could fix the machines, but they're busy operating and managing inventory, tracking things in, doing what have you. My job is to ease the burden on them so that when the machine breaks down, they can go do something else while I get it back up. Some people underestimate the skill that goes in to using high technology. So, for instance, a Computer America control operator can do math on par with any statistician or financial engineer. It's just a different application. Knowing your fractions, multiplication, adding, subtracting makes you that much quicker on the job.